Good evening, I'm Herman Green and welcome to the Business Day. Petrol prices are to rise to a nine-week high on Thursday. Petrojam announced it has hiked the price of a liter of E1087 and E1090 gasoline by $2.89. The price of a liter of regular diesel goes up 20 cents, while the low sulfur variety increases by 57 cents. Kerosene will cost 17 cents more. Now, propane cooking gas is going up by $1.89, while butane declines by 27 cents. The price of oil ended close to a seven-week high in Wednesday's trading. Oil ended the day selling for $65.17 a barrel after it rose by $1.63. That was the highest settlement since early February. Grace Kennedy has invested heavily in its new online platform that enables transfers through its remittance arm, Western Union. CEO Don Webby told a media briefing this morning that $2 million U.S. million has been spent on compliance and security measures. President and CEO of Western Union, Hikmet Ersek, ha added that the parent company has also invested $200 million U.S. million. The move is ahead of the official launch of the online money transfer from Jamaica to overseas via its Western Union website next month. We have, you know, we are really growing by 20% every year on our dot-com business. Amazing growth. We are leading it after 167 years of innovation. And one of, one of the strengths of Western Union is that we are disrupting our own business. Within the last year, Western Union Jamaica was forced to shut 10 of its outlets because of concerns about fraud. They were all subsequently reopened. The U.S. dollar is being sold for $127.54. The Canadian dollar is being sold for $97.65. The pound sterling, that's going for $178.41, while the euro is costing $157.44. Proven Investments has reduced its shareholdings in the St. Lucia-based Boslil Bank. The company made the announcement through the Jamaica Stock Exchange today, saying it now has a 75% stake in the St. Lucia Bank. The holding was almost 83% previously. Now, the JSE index gained more than 818 points on Wednesday, while the junior market index gained more than 32. Stocks posting gains included Berger Pains, Caribbean Cream, Elite Diagnostics, Honeybun, Kingston Wharves, Medical Disposables and Supplies, Sagicor Real Estate X Fund, and T Tech. On the losing end were 138 Student Living, CAC 2000, Carreras, Grace Kennedy, Jamaica Producers, JMMB Group, Portland JSX, and Wisinko Group. And that wraps up the business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.